This morning, your news now. Welcome back, everybody. Well, we all love bluegrass. Oh, yeah. Yes, we all love bluegrass. We're going to tell you more a little bit about the the third annual Forever Bluegrass Festival that is going to be taking place. It's a fall festival coming up. And joining us now is our friend. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. You know Good how season. I am. I'm excited. Yes. <laughs> well, we are excited that you are here. Now, we love the festival that you put on in May. Now, this is the third fall festival, though, that you are holding in Chickamauga, correct? That's right. Um, we love Mountain Cove Farms. It's so beautiful. We love it so much that we went out there for our Forever Bluegrass Festival in May, which will be year 30 this coming May. We loved it so much that we decided we better have two festivals. Why and not? Yes. And <laughs> it's the perfect setting for it. You know, we have this beautiful show barn so the weather doesn't matter and um, we've actually lowered our ticket prices this year so mm -hmm. there's no reason why you can't come and children under 16 are absolutely free so and uh, that doesn't happen yeah, often. That doesn't happen no it's For just in festival. bluegrass it's in bluegrass world because we want everybody to come and it's a family oriented event and uh, we have a great lineup for our stage show Lonesome River Cody Norris David Peterson all of our local greats are going to be there and then of course afterwards we camp out there's a beautiful campground there and we pick and grin all night long all night long wow that's right sounds like a wonderful time why this location we were talking about the beauty um, well, it's kind of like a homecoming for me. I've been li I live in the same place my great grandparents lived there in Flintstone. Wow! And um, when I was a little girl, we would travel down to the Cove, and it was the, it was the Tennessee Valley Playhouse, and my dad played in the house band there. And so then through high school, we'd go back, and I don't know, it was just kind of drawn back to the area. And then uh, when we were looking for a new location, I walked in and I said, you know, what do you rent this place for? And when she told me, I was like. We want to do two festivals <laughs> there. You know, we're here. The place is also available for rent for weddings. It's, it was voted one of the best venues, wedding venues in wow. North Georgia last year. So we're super yeah. excited to be part of Mountain Cove. And it's kind of a secret. I don't think people know about it. But it's about 30 miles south here. You follow Lookout Mountain, and it's absolutely gorgeous. You put the beauty, the music, the people, the food, the whole package, and you've got a great three-day bluegrass festival, and that's November 7th, 8th, and 9th. And I hope you girls come out. I will. So for those that aren't familiar with bluegrass music, what would you describe bluegrass music as? Well, um, I would say it is a good feeling music. You know, it makes you, it's comforting. Um, I was told that the folks up north, they love our southern food because, and our music because of the comfort it brings mm. us. And uh, I call it my escape from the real world because it's a happy music. It brings happy people. It makes you feel good. I say even a sad banjo song makes you want to get up and dance. So uh, It's true. <laughs> yes, and these girls right. have promised me that they're going to come down and, yep. and yes. they're going to dance we'll with come me. Down. Oh, we I don't know about the dancing part. <laughs> hey, we can but do it, right? Just make sure nobody's videoing it. Right, okay? right. Just promise me well, that. Well, I can't we promise right. any of that <laughs> because uh, it is a great thing and I really really want everybody to come out uh, we lowered our ticket prices in hoping that we would attract more folks right. mm -hmm. because once you get in there you're gonna say why have I not been here all this time Absolutely. Right. so if folks would like to get those early bird tickets how can they do that well they could do that by about last week Ooh, but okay. <laughs> but the ticket prices are still very very cheap okay. and we work with anybody you know if, if you can't afford a ticket we have a volunteer team we try so hard to make no excuse mm -hmm. no excuse why you can't be there and certainly not because it's expensive at all but uh, again children under 16 are free it's a wonderful thing the music is outstanding the beauty of the place is also outstanding and and it's like a, a, a family reunion your mm. chosen family you know that you Absolutely. love and you want to see every Absolutely. year so well it's so good to see you thank you for coming in today thank, thank you we're yes. excited yes. next yes. weekend folks you want to check it out if you want some more information there's a look at the website right there on your screen Stay with us. We got much more ahead on News 12 now this morning. Your top stories are coming up right after the short break.